The increase of child abuse is growing at an alarming rate. Research from the Dragonfly House in Moxville shows 29% of child abuse or neglect was COVID related. The most cases come from being economically related. Based on the, the cases that we're seeing is that you have parents who who are at their wits end, parents who may have lost their job or have lost an income, um, parents with unstable housing, parents who during the pandemic may have experienced depression. And during that time, there's also children in the home and the children are witnessing this, experiencing this, having the effects of it. From 2020 to 2021, the One Stop Shop has seen 306 children dealing with some kind of child abuse. When a disclosure of abuse is made, the child comes here and all of those people who would have to be involved in the case come here as well and we work together around the child. Everything usually done with social services and law enforcement is all done here in a neutral place. Detective Sergeant Hannah Whittington says it's all about making the child comfortable. A child may not always want to talk to a patrol officer. They're not gonna look at that. They're not gonna wanna talk to someone wearing a uniform that's big and scary. You know, it, it, it's not gonna register to a small child that, you know, even though they look this way that they're there to help, you know. So if you have someone who can put on a softer perspective and go and sit down with them and actually have the time to sit on the ground with them and comfort them and console them and talk to them, I think that, you know, it's always beneficial to have that. Sergeant Whittington says as children and parents begin the upcoming school year, those at the Dragonfly House are also preparing themselves for an influx of cases to be reported. Every year we see about the beginning of September after the kids have been in school for a few weeks, they're building bonds, they're building relationships with their classmates or their teachers, you know, somebody back in the community that's not what they're experiencing at home or who, you know, that offender may be. Now you've had, you know, this isn't just a summer, you've had an entire year, year and a half of them being directly exposed to who they may be being offended on or by and there's been no one to talk to. There's been no one to share that with. It's, it's bad. It's not what we're going to be used to.